Let me zoom in and show you from underneath what it looks like. That's all the rust on the upstairs platform up against the wall. And it's the entire length. So every, every shelf angle is full of rust. Okay? See? 100% full of rust and welded. So we have to break all those welds. Now, the same thing is happening on the other side. Full of rust. See? This is the other side. So that's the only thing holding that, that grating up there. So that, that whole grating up above and down below is suspect. Okay? So it needs a full paint job. Reinforce all your welded connections. You know, things as simple as this. You know, we got one side bolted, one side welded. Now I have to load test or x-ray that corner. But as soon as I put a bolt on the opposite right side there, there's no need. I can keep that weld and I've provided the city with other evidence of strength. See these bolts into the building? I need to basically make sure no water is coming in from above. So whenever you have cracked areas like this, water's gonna get in. So I gotta seal this up against this uneven building. It needs to be sealed to stop the water from getting in there and causing issues in, uh, in areas where people are concerned. Again, full paint job. The fire escape has been rotting, uh, you know, rusting away for many, many years because you still got some of the old paint here. And again, the full length, this needs about 8,000 pounds plus of, uh, of sand to basically low test. This whole area, Hawaii, uh, this whole area here needs to be closed. This whole area over here is, is, um, has got an angle clip. And just like up above, see all that rust? That all needs to be cleaned out of the rust and then rebolted back into position to avoid the load test. Okay, so the fire escape it actually repeats itself. A lot of your welded connections. As soon as you make them into mechanical connections with bolts, there's no load test. Mechanical, mechanical. Okay, and this staircase is going there. So as you look from below, even though they're welded from up, they've got new bolts from underneath. But these bolts are about 25 years old. We'll get the actual age on this fire escape to determine whether or not it's at that time where these bolts need to be changed out to avoid the low test. But they've also welded it from above. But the bolt is the primary. The weld is the secondary on this. So 100% of all these treads need to be painted. And from below, and it just repeats itself from our conversation up here. Welded connections need to be turned into mechanical fat connections to avoid the x-ray or the load test. This is all welded, but look, as soon as they popped in that bolt, they eliminated my concern about this, this weld over there. Okay, going down. No question for me? Okay, just listen. Yeah. Um, so we got some water penetrating from above. Uh, the only area I found that's concerned is probably going to be those smaller treads down there that water really got in there. But this is what we're trying to avoid. All of these need to be sealed from above. See that water just getting in there? And that little gap is almost a sixteenth now, but that's going to become an eighth, a quarter over time. So once you get all these cleaned out, we need to seal this with silicone to stop the water from uh, getting in there through freeze and thaw. The footings look like they're in good order. They're sitting on good sono tubes. Good connections into the corner. They're welded and bolted, which is great. Again, this whole shelf has got rust inside, debris and dirt. Look at all that debris. Look at all that dirt. Getting in there and just growing rust. What kind of rust? That kind of rust. Got it? So that's making all these platforms suspect. So we need to get in there and remove all that rust and then rebolt that shelf angle back and then put a bolt, put bolts on it. And that's both sides. Okay? Rust. So just a typical fire escape that because nobody sealed it from above, water got in there and it's doing its job and that's creating rust. Look at that platform, see? Rust. Okay. Now, getting into the treads over here because it's always cold, always damp over here. Somebody is smoking over here. But um, see? Rust getting in there. Rust is growing better because this area stays wetter longer. So this is uh, an area that you know, it needs to be cleaned, then siliconed. But otherwise, you know, the, the into the ground, it's in pretty good order. You know, water is getting, water is getting through and it's gonna start doing this. See, this is an indication that water is getting in from above. And now what happens is as the bolts get rusty, these become suspect. So a lot of times you have to change out all these bolts. So this is one of those that not only does it need a paint job, 
but it does need um, uh, the bolts to be low tested or they need to be x-rayed because a lot of times you get square head bolts here okay found this footings in good order so you need a bolt there you need to put a bolt there this is only to avoid the low test you need to make this mechanical connection here so that I can I don't have to load test or x-ray this weld I as soon as I make this with a clip here or something that basically bolts this back uh, to here and I, I avoid the load test okay otherwise the fire escape is in uh, I'd say the fair to poor order meaning it's in if a, uh, the, a lot of it is a new fire escape but it's primarily all the platforms that have all that rust growth inside them um, so again Here's some of the options that you have with the city official. He's going to want you to mainly uh, spot repair this fire escape and fully paint the fire escape. That's a requirement. Uh, whether he wants a permit or not it needs to be discussed with the, the official of, of record associated with this. Uh, the other question is whether or not he wants engineer oversight. A lot of times when you have a building of this type and you have over 35,000 cubic square feet, it does trigger the uh, requirement that it's got um, to be control, uh, it's a controlled uh, document, um, construction control document, so you do need either a registered architect or a registered engineer to sign the preliminary affidavit of control, so we'll discuss that with a city official. Sometimes city officials want this to have an engineer at the end sign off on this. Uh, sometimes they want it without a permit. It all depends on the size and complexity of each fire escape that we're doing and the city official really has a, a say on this. The next step is that you go to um, a, a meeting with a city official either at his office with this report or a meeting here at this site for him to decide what he wants to do next. But it could be spot repair, and then sign off with a, um, an opinion letter certificate with disclaimers of, of liability. That could be one option that he might choose. The second option is that he wants you to spot repair this fire escape and then low test it. And again, 8,000 to 8,000 pounds is, is the average pound that you're going to be working with. And, and including all the stairs need to be weight uh, 200 pounds to 300 pounds per stair uh, will be low tested on this. So it's probably a, a full day event. Um, the next thing that's involved that he may say, he may want you to, or he could offer it that you refurbish all the connections, all the welded connections, change all the bolts on the stairs, for example, and basically there is no load test because you've, you've provided him with the refurbishment or other evidence of strength to avoid the load test. And I think that's where this fire escape is at. This is probably one that all these bolts should be changed out on the treads because it's going to be easy. Um, silicone shut everything accordingly. 100% of all the gratings need to be um, the shelf angle clip needs to be rebolted, cleansed, sealed, and then put back. 100% paint job, and this thing will uh, will easily pass a certification using refurbishment uh, to avoid the load test. Uh, but this next step does definitely need to uh, proceed. So since it did not pass the initial examination, she will now need to go to the next level, and the city official will have to uh, give us guidance on that whether or not engineer oversight is going to be required. Um, and for that, uh, that's the next phase of our conversation with our client. 866-649-0333, 866-649-0333. Um, Inspector Manessas here from Firescape Engineers. If you have any questions, 866-649-0333.